Welcome back to the Arcadia Invitational. Matt, it's time for a little speed, huh? Yeah, we've got a great field assembled here. Three of the top seven finalists from last year's California State Meter here, as well as the state and national leader, Jamar Marshall from St. Mary's. Marshall's run 1361. You can see he occupies lane number five here. Should be a stellar field as we head into the boys' highs. Matt, our boy high hurdlers in the blocks. Out very quickly in lane six. Out of Bullis. Here comes Jamar Marshall, the state and national leader from St. Mary's, Sac Joaquin. Marshall overcomes a tough start and gets it done here in the second half of the race. 1387. A little wind at their back, plus 0.3 meters per second. Williams and Merrill West will finish in second at 1401. And then Terea Bullis at 1405. So Marshall overcomes a tough start here for the Rams of St. Mary's well off of his national leading mark of 1361 but a great technician got it done over the last five hurdles here as you can see starting to pull away in the green white and black in lane five and now we're going to look at some highlights of some of the other relays boys four by 200 matt well long beach poly in the middle of the track one of their variations of their uniforms they've got the blue tops and the black bottoms on here they're always a dominant powerhouse in the 4x1, 4x2, and 4x4 here in Southern California. Easily getting it done here in this invitational 4x2. You can see Rancho Cucamonga in second on their outside. Long Beach probably 125.91 are the winners with Rancho Cucamonga almost two seconds back at 127.75. Polly's boys add another Arcadia Invitational Relays title to their trophy chest. And now let's look at the girls 4x200. Bullis out of Potomac, Maryland, always tough here, but they've got traditional sprint powerhouse Long Beach Poly in their way. Long Beach Poly wearing pink bottoms and a black top in lane four are out very quickly here. Matt, this is one of those unusual races. Both laps run in lanes. That's why it looks like these runners are so far apart. All evens up at the end, but you can see Bullis School coming from way back. Oh. Yeah, Long Beach Poly with a big lead here. Leah Phillips gets the baton and keep your eyes on her as she runs them down here in the final 100 meters. Phillips, one of the nation's best at 100, 200, and 400, and she's showing you why. Well, it's the winners at 138.28 with Long Beach Poly, just a second back at 139.36. Two great four by 200 meter relay races, but let's get back to the track and some individual events. Next thing up is our girls' 100-meter hurdles. Matt, what do we got here? Well, Jaslyn Shear in the middle of the track is the one to watch. She's the California State Leader at 1352, fourth in the state meet a year ago. Bella Witt from Calabasas, part of that winning 4x1 team earlier in the meet, is in lane four. Looks like the starters got them in the blocks. We're ready to go. Great start in lane three for Lauren Harris out of Bullis, Maryland. Terrific battle here between Shearer and Jones in the middle of the track. Shearer, the California State leader, in five. And Jasmine Jones from Atlanta, Georgia, in six. A good battle there. And Jones, the winner, 13-33 for Jasmine Jones. Take a look at it here. Jasmine Jones in lane six. Not a problem negotiating these 33-inch high hurdles. 13 33, an outstanding time for Jones, our visitor from Greater Atlanta, just ahead of the California State Leader, Jaslyn Shearer of Silver Creek. So Shearer having a big day, 41-3 in a triple jump win, but she'll finish second here, a lifetime best, 13-36. Jones the winner in 13-33. And now we'll take those hurdles off the track and go to the straight 100-meter dash. We'll look at that in just a moment, but hey, the home of national records, Got a new member joining the cast as Chloe Cunliffe out of Washington went over 14-8 in the pole vault, a new national record. Great jump for her with the Arcadia Invitational and adding to the already long list of national records. Yeah, and let's put that jump into perspective. That 14-8 clearance, a new national record, edges out 2016 Olympian Lexi Weeks out of Arkansas. You see she jumped 14 seven and a half four years ago. So Cunliffe in rare air here out of Federal Way, Washington. And then here's a look at the final results for the pole vault on the boys and girls side. Samuel Wright of Lodi, the winner on misses at 
with Chloe Cunliffe, obviously, the new national record, 14-8, being the champion on the girls' side. The home of national records, the Arcadia Invitational, will be right back. 